Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, we are now back to our regular scheduling here. This is Dash the True Inferno, <laughs> aka the new Jay Gatsby, and so forth. And keep in mind of uh, the fact that there was six of us in this gameplay, and then it grows, and uh, some funny stuff happened in this gameplay. But enough about the gameplay, because over a period of time here. I have been bringing back some segments, you know, so I brought back the Men Be Men segment when some of y'all thought it was a one-time thing. I brought back the Good Idea, Bad Idea segment where some of y'all thought that was going to be a one-time thing. I brought back the WTF stories, you know, did the second one not too long ago. Well, now I'm about to bring back another segment, and this one I actually said I was going to do, but... I never got around to do it because of other segments, other topics, other stuff was going on that I had to do commentary on. And this segment is Club Stories. Yes, Club Stories back. I got another Club Story for y'all. Actually, I got two Club Stories for y'all. One of them is longer than the other. So, let's get straight into it. So, and both Club Stories are recent. They, they both happened this year. They both happened... Within a month and a half, I believe. So let me tell y'all what happened. So, like I said, this story happened like a month and a half ago. And I'm going to warn y'all right here, right now. Expect some foolery in this video from yours truly. <laughs> but check this out. So me and two of my boys, and I'm going to call them, one of them the crazy one. The other one is, we just going to call him Shades. So... The three of us, we went to this club called the Ultimate Sports Bar. Now, for those of you who stay in Detroit or is in Michigan and hurl up the Ultimate Sports Bar, then you should know this was at one point called Lucky's. Well, I never been to this place. I never been to this establishment where it was called Lucky's or Ultimate Sports Bar before. So this was my first time going. So we got there before 11 o'clock. Therefore, we got in for free. And then we went up and got some beers. Now, normally when you go to a club, to a a bar to a strip club or whatever. Beer normally costs five bucks, six dollars, six fifty, or even seven dollars, you know, or eight bucks, something like that. Inside this joint, nope. Beer was three dollars to three dollars and fifty cents. And we was like, give us two. <laughs> like yeah, we want two of those. <laughs> So we sitting at the counter, we drinking our beer, we watching these cats dancing to the usual hype, let's get crunk type of crap that they are playing in the club from time to time. And here how me and my boys like to do things in the club. First and foremost, we you know we love to step, we love to hustle. So when they play songs that can let us step and hustle, we'll get on the dance floor and then we'll do our thing. And then wherever play wherever they play next. You know, whatever it is, it is. But we'll stay on the dance floor. But we never get on the dance floor unless we hear that stepping music. Unless we hear that hustling music. So, my boy, the crazy one, went up to the DJ and asked him to play some stepping music. And 20 minutes later, the DJ finally did. So we got on the floor and we did our step. Now, afterward, they start playing that female shake your ass type of song. So, whatever. so this one chick... Who looked loose as hell was on the dance floor and literally dropped to the floor and started shaking her ass. So her ass was straight up in the air. And this dude, who been dancing with females all night, acting like a damn fool, this dude did something I have never seen before in my life. And when we started, we were just cracking up, rolling. So we called this move the crab. And here's why we call it the crab because this dude saw this chick. And I crap you not, he started dancing on her like this. <laughs> we were just dying laughing. <laughs> but no, no, 
it don't end there. So now, there's another dude there, this chubby looking guy. He's on the dance floor. He ain't dance with no females, but he walking around acting like a damn fool. And he doing something like this. Now, judging by that alone, that's not exactly hilarious. But, dog, you had to see this dude's face. That was killed us. Look at this. <laughs> he had that face, though. We was cracking up, rolling. But, no, it gets funnier than that. So, now there's this older-looking dude in there. He had to be, like, 40 to 45 or something like that, and he's tall, like 6'1", 6'2", got a bald head, rocking some shades. He dancing with this short chick who looked like she's 21, 22, maybe 23, and the way he was dancing with her, he looked like he was struggling with her. It was so hilarious. So we catch this dude dancing with this young short chick looking like this. And then, no, no, and then, like a few seconds later, we stick, we catch him dancing on that same chick looking like this. <laughs> we was just down here laughing, and my boy, the crazy one, is a damn fool, because he gonna mock him, right, he gonna mock him by doing this. <laughs> and I'm just like, I just bust out rolling, because he was a damn fool. And then sometime after the club scene, right, we, it, 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 oh my gosh, I still can't go over this one. Then this dude was there dancing with his chick, and I catch him, right, I catch him dancing with this girl, and he dropped down, and I just saw his face literally all up in her ass. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? But no, now we get to the highlight of the night, right? So, but before we get to that, I got to tell y'all a backstory. So, some of the guys that I hang out with, and we was dubbed at one point as the click. We have, you know, some of the guys had their own signature dances. Me, I don't have one. Now, I'm not going to show y'all what they all look like, but here's my boy, the shades here. Here's how he does his dance. <laughs> so that's his signature dance, right? For example. So now we back to uh, the current club story. So me, my boy, the crazy one, and Shades, we just stand on the dance floor. Right? Actually, Shades were leaning on this pillar that was on the middle of the dance floor, right? Then all of a sudden, we just minded our own, own business, just standing there. All of a sudden, here come these four chicks. So... This one chick started dancing on me, and then two would start dancing on the crazy one, right? But then things just got funny, because while those three chicks were dancing on me, on us, whatever, there was another one, obviously, and she started dancing on the dude with shades. Now, he looked like he was resisting, but it's like he didn't want to say no, so he basically looked like this right here. And we go, and we was like, oh man, that's his new signature dance right there. That was hilarious right there. Oh man. Now, we're going to fast forward to this past Friday night. So, this time it was four of us. And this story does not involve any of my boys or anything like that. This does not involve me or anything like that. So, we up in that joint. And it was okay, I guess. It wasn't better than... The last time we went, you know, because a whole bunch of crazy stuff happened. A bunch of females were dancing, which is rare nowadays. So, <laughs> so we get to the part where it's near the end of the night, right? So, and normally when they get to the end of the night, the end of the club night or whatever, they want to play that R&B joint, you know, that slow dance joint or whatever, right? So, there's this one guy there, again, I don't know who he is or whatever. He would just, you know how you be break dancing or be down, dancing all slow and seductive or whatever, trying to attract that opposite gender or whatever. So, this dude was doing that, but yeah, he was just acting like a fool with it. Like, he would get on the floor and start dancing with his leg up. He would be slow dancing, staring at dude's face, and dude's looking at him like, what the fuck? <laughs> and... 
it was just too hilarious. So then, here's where things got crazy. There was another dude there with his chick, right? And he got his chick to dance with him, which only lasts for like, what, four seconds because the chick couldn't take this dude seriously. So the dude who was watching this dude dancing like a maniac, like an idiot, he pulled out his camera phone and started recording him. So the lights on off of his phone and everything. Then this dude while dancing like a damn fool sees this, right? And this fool, I can't believe he done this. I can't believe he did this. This fool faced the dude with the camera and did this. Lift his shirt up and shit, and I'm standing here like, what the hell is this? Like, what is this? Like, what, what is this idiot doing? Like, what, what the fuck is that? And I'm just cracking up, rolling, man. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck, dude? Oh my gosh, that was so funny. But at the same time, I was like, what the fuck, man? It, it was just too crazy. It was just too crazy. And then I remember, uh, actually, right before that, though, there was some chicks on my right. Cause I was just standing here leaning on this wall. There was these three chicks, you know, all of them thick, just standing there. And this, that same dude, tried to dance on her or whatever, or was dancing in front of her. To the point where she just abandoned her friends and went to the bathroom. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious. But let me get back to this gameplay. So, at the start of the gameplay, in case you failed to witness it, it started off as three on three. Me and two dudes against these three other dudes. But then more people joined. But then it became me and these two dudes against five cats. And check this out. First of all, I got the final kill. Don't hate on that rainbow dance because she is no joke like a boss. But check this out, man. Look at my score. I went, and look at us, man. We just dominated, man. This is Dash the True Inferno. <laughs> but before I say peace, though, this is the new beat I just released yesterday, or last night, rather. Samurai's Path is off of the upcoming beat album, The Kyoto Hour, by you one. The beat is not available yet. It will be available Tuesday, June the 25th. The album is coming out in August, so stay tuned for that. This is the new Jay Gatsby. Peace out.